Hey guys, this is Peter with the Command Valley bringing you a new Commander gameplay video. Thank you to GameGrid for sponsoring this video and this channel. If you want to check out their new and improved store and support the channel while doing it, check out the link in the description below. You can copy and paste deck lists straight into their deck builder and buy your singles there. If you want to support the channel directly, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash commandvalley to sign up for some awesome perks today. Today we're trying out a new gameplay series that will hopefully become a mainstay on this channel. This isn't one of our normal Duel of the Peaks episodes, but rather just a commander game that's casual with no challenges or stakes or restrictions. We have not narrated this episode and are purely relying on the audio from the game to commentate our plays. We'd love your feedback on this episode, see what you loved, hated, think we can add or improve. Just let us know down in the comments where we read every single one of our comments and we work diligently to improve our channel with every video so just let us know what you think and we'll be sure to make some changes for the next gameplay video without further ado let's go over the decks and the opening hands and then we'll get right into the game landon starts us off tonight and is playing kaza royal chaser and he's starting with a hand of ignite the future blatant thievery blue sun zenith is it guildgate two islands, and a snow-covered island. Caleb is piloting a Kiri Fearless Voyager, and he's starting with Healer's Hawk, Trailblazer's Boots, Avon Mind Sensor, Inventor's Fair, Rogue's Passage, Rugged Prairie, and a Plains. Griffin is next, bringing Omnath, Locus of Creation, to the table, and he has an opening hand of Scute Mob, Animus Awakening, Farseek, Azusa Lost But Seeking, Yavamaya Coast, Woodland Stream, and a Forest. And finally, Peter has brought Verisal the Split Current and is opening with a Vines of Vastwood, Gyre Sage, Gnarled Colony, Finale of Revelation, Sitna Wood Readers, a Command Tower, and a Forest. And with that, we hope you enjoy the gameplay. Let's do it. I will draw for turn, and I'll put down an Is It Gilgate as my land for turn now. Pass to you, Caleb. Okay. I will draw for turn. Um, I'm going to play Planes, and... Cast Healer's Hawk. Thank you. And pass the turn. I will draw. I am going to play this Woodland Stream tapped, and I'll pass the turn to Peter. All right. Draw. Ah, oh, that feels bad. What? Playing Tapers? Yeah. Oh. Forest. <laughs> pass. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw. I will play down a land for turn. And now, this is a hard question. Do I ramp with my commander or do I ramp with Mana Rocks? <laughs> um, I'm going to cast a Sapphire Medallion, making all my blue spells cost one less. Thank okay, you, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to untap and draw for turn. We will play Rugged Prairie. I'll go to combat. Who wants to get hit? You've got a flying commander. I don't. I'm going to swing at you, Landon, for one. Yep. Just to open things up, and I'll gain one. And on my second main phase, I will play Trailblazer's Boots. Uh-oh. I'll uh, pass. All right. I'll untap and I'll draw. I'm going to go ahead and play this Plains. And I am going to tap two. And I'm going to far seek, finding myself a mountain, and put it onto the battlefield. Tapped. Draw. Um, I will play a Forest. Um, I will tap two for a Gyre Sage and pass. Cool. I will untap. I will draw for turn. I'll play on an island. And then I will pay two mana to cast my commander. Nice. She has flying in haste. Um, so I had to get one in before <laughs> yeah. you played her. And um, I will not attack. Go ahead, Caleb. Okay. Untap and draw. I'm going to go with a Sun Baked Canyon. Uh, I will go to combat. Your guy doesn't have reach, right? I'm going to swing at you, Peter. I one will player. take one Okay. in the air. I'll gain one. I'm at one in air damage. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> good. It takes 40 of that. Yeah, <laughs> Got it. Uh, second main phase, I will cast my commander, Akiri, Fearless Voyager. And I'll pass the turn. Sweet. Untap and draw. I will go ahead and play this forest. Move the monster. Proceed to try to cast on that. Yeah. Very nice. nice. Yeah, sure. Not. Cool. I'll draw a card. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Gotta play my non-basic land. 
command tower. Feels bad. Feels bad, <laughs> man. I'm going to tap two for Gnarled Colony, and when I enter his guy, I'm just going to give it a I will pass. I will untap, I will draw. Put on my land for turn, and then I will pay four mana, and I will cast Ignite the Future. So I exile the top three cards of my library, Crater Claws, Oof. Archaeomancer, and Island. And until Ooh. the end of my next turn, I can play those spells. Uh, I, I'm not going to take any other actions. Go ahead, Caleb. All right, I'll untap and I'll draw. Play Inventor's Fair. Oh, okay. I'm going to pay two and put Trailblazer's Boots on Akiri. Makes sense. Okay, we're going to go to combat and swing Akiri at you, Griffin. I figured. Uh, trigger on your Kiri draw card. Uh, I have no effects. Okay. 35. Do you have any effects? <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. Three damage. Uh, uh, uh. Um, second main cast Shadow Spear. That's another really good one. Yes. Pass. Untap. And draw. Uh, I'm gonna play this Yava Maya Coast. Trigger on Omnath. I will gain four life. Tap. A green. To cast a crop rotation. Sacrificing this forest. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. I will search my library for any land and put it onto the battlefield. I will put the Sun Petal Grove onto the battlefield, trigger on Omnath. I'll add work to my mana pool. I'll tap for nine and I'll cast an Anatist Awakening equal to eight. That's disgusting. So you get all basics into play? I get any land into play. Okay. Uh, Do you have a free lands. counter? Cast it now. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Six, uh oh. Seven. Eight. Uh, he got his one. Oh man. Wow. Hey, I'll go into your graveyard? No, on the bottom of my library. That's the worst. Thing. I do get to untap this Timber Gorge. Trigger on Omnath. Four damage to uh, each opponent. Four damage to each opponent. Now we'll tap one green to cast a scoop on. And I'll pass. Untap and draw. Roll a forest. Four. For Verisol. Uh trigger on Gyre Sage, I get a plus one plus one power. I'll pass. Go ahead. Alright, I'll untap and draw. And I'm going to do something kind of mean. I'll tap out uh, with Kaza to make my next spell cost one less. I will cast Blade Thievery. Mm -hmm. For each opponent, gain control of target permanent that player controls. Sure. I will target Akiri, Omnath, and sure. Gyre Sage. Uh, in response, I will tap some big canyon, paying one life to add white to my mana pool, unattaching Trailblazer's boots from Akiri. Unfortunately, no hexproof, but she does have indestructible. Okay. I have no responses. I have a response. I will tap Gyre Sage, and for one mana, cast Vines of Vastwood, giving it hexproof until end of turn. Do you want to kick it? I do not want to kick it. Oh, it does nothing. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. So Blaine Thievery resolves. Um, I've had a friend. I hate you. Yes, you do. Um, yeah. I don't have any further actions, and then these cards with Ignite the Future will be in exile forever. Thank goodness. The Archaeo Mancer. Yeah. I mean, yep. Alright, uh, go ahead, Caleb. Wow, wow, thanks. What a turn. What a turn. I will untap and draw. I'm gonna play down a Rogue's Passage. I'm gonna tap uh, Sunbake Canyon. I lose one life for that. Add three to my mana pool and I'm going to cast Sword of Feast and Faith. I will go to Equip mm -hmm. and put it on Healer's Hawk. Sounds mm -hmm. good, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Then I will go to Combat and sure. I'm gonna swing Healer's Hawk at landing for three. When it deals combat damage to you, you have to discard a card, and I get to untap all my lands. Yeah, I'll discard my land. Okay. So I'm just gonna pass. Interesting. Uh, untap, upkeep, uh, draw, scoop mob trigger. I will put five plus one plus one counters on scoop mob. It's made. It's, it's, it's just, just four. It's yes. Yep. Four plus one. Thank you. Then I will draw the turn. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pay four. And I'm going to cast Omnath, uh, little brother. Be Omnath. back. <laughs> Do you really want me to get playing through back for my? <laughs> 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 okay. 
You gotta make me do this. <laughs> I would, but on that, I'm just so mad that you wouldn't let me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I built this deck just to play your deck. He enters the battlefield, there is a trigger on the stack. Yes. I can ping something for one, any target. Lannan, remove yourself from 32, go 31. <laughs> remove yourself. <laughs> I will play this Battlefield Forge, I will get a trigger on Omnath, I will put this plus one plus one counter on Omnath, however I do not control eight or more lands. But I will cast an Azusa Lost Seeking, and I will play my second land for a turn, which will be a Mystic Monastery. Another trigger on Omnath, I will put a plus one plus one counter on him, and draw a card. And then I will go to combat, and I will swing my Scoop Mob at Landon for five. Okay, five. And I'll pass turn. Untap. Scoop Mob's only slightly worse than Scoop Swing. So much worse. I'm gonna tap six to cast Sitting on Wood Readers, kicking it, and I'm casting a kick spell. I'm going to remove two plus one plus one counters on Verisol to copy it. So I get two copies of these, and when they enter the battlefield, I'll draw two cards for each of them. So I will draw four cards. Cool. Wow. <laughs> Seems pretty good. It's a bad card. Wouldn't play it. Wouldn't? Would you steal it? I, I can't. <laughs> well, you can't play on math either, but here we are. I didn't play on math. <laughs> you played it. I took it. This mine. And the Kiri. Forest. This is mine for turn. All right. I'm going to pass. All right. I'll untap. I will drop for turn. I'll put on an island. A uh, landfall trigger. And it is a deck. Nice. Nice. Fucking full line. Wow. You'll need it. Yes, I will. Um, And then I'm going to pass my turn. I'm going to pay four. Okay. And sacrifice Inventor's Fair. Oh, Just okay. make that Healer's Hawk the beefiest mofo <laughs> we've ever seen. Uh, it seems really bad, but I'm searching for a soul ring. Oh, okay. I will untap. Draw my cards for turn. I will play a, thank you, Battlefield Forge. All right. Pay one for soul ring. Whoa. Tap these two to pay two and equip Trailblazer Boots. Mm -hmm. Shadow okay, Spear. another two. To put the Shadow Spear. Heck yeah. On Healer Sock, making it the baddest mofo. Brutal. And then I'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. And I'll swing at you, Landon. Um, <clears throat> You'll gain it right back. Maybe. Okay, I'll take four or five? Four. Then discard a card. Okay, I will untap my lands. I can't play what I want to play with that much blue mana open, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Cool. Untap. Upkeep trigger. Yeah, the beginning of the upkeep. I knew it was for me. Um, I'm going to Chaos Warp on this. Okay. You... Chaos Warp resolves Omnath. Goes back in my library, I'll reveal the top card. And it is an Evolving Wilds, and it goes onto the battlefield. Yep. That's a terrible trade. That's fine. I, mean, uh, I stuff, will so. go to my upkeep, trigger on the, the thing. It should also be untapped, I think. Yes. I don't know how magic works. And then I will drop a turn. Aging, rampaging Baylots in the play a land for turn. I'll get a trigger on Rampaging Baylots, and I'll get a 4 4 Green Beast. I'll have that. I will. <laughs> Proceed to combat, okay. and I'm going to swing eight at Landon. Block my key. Okay. Woohoo! You're welcome. Thanks, buddy. Uh, and then I'll pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Flooded Grove is my land for turn. I'm going to tap six to cast and kick Everflowing Chalice three times. It's going to go three counters. Three counters. I'm also copying it with Verisol. Oh. So he will die. He will die. Oh. <laughs> but I'm getting two Everflowing Chalices. Three counters on them Both of them have three. Okay. okay, I'm going to tap two, a green and a blue, and I'm going to tap six to cast Verisol again. And he comes in with eight counters. Trigger on Gyre Sage. It will get another plus one, plus one counter. I will pass. Cool. I'll untap. <clears throat> I will draw for turn. 
I will tap one, two, three, four, five, casting a blue sun zenith, I execute the five. Okay. Drop one, two, three, four, five cards. Nice. I will play down my land for turn. Trigger on that. Trigger on that. You guys, again, I am saving your butts. I'm gonna cast Wizards Lightning Targeting Azusa. Sure. Okay. All right. Passage. Okay. Passing turn. I'm gonna add two white to my mana pool and two colorless from the Sol Ring, and I'll use three of it to cast Wizards Lightning Targeting Azusa. Okay. Okay. Passage. 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 Pass I'm going to go to my turn and untap, and draw for turn, I wonder what it'll be. Okay, so I'm going to pay five to cast a Kiri, and then I will pay two, and I'm gonna put Shadow Spear on Aven Mind Sensor. Uh, combat's gonna be Healer's Hawk at Griffin, and Aven Mind Sensor at Peter. I cannot block. I have no responses. I have no responses. Okay. I will take three, I, and I will discard this Shalai in Voice of Plenty. I will take three and not discard any. I'll draw two cards when they attack, um, and then I will untap all my lands. Nice. I'm going to pay four mana to cast Indomitable Archangel, and I'll pass. Wow. I have an effect. I will go ahead and tap my crafting. I'll go ahead and search my library for a basic island, put into play tap, trigger on the Rampage, and else I'll get another uh, Green Beast. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, I will get four one plus one plus one counters on the scoop mop. It's now 13-13, and I will draw for turn. We are going to go ahead and tap a green and a blue for a growth spiral. I will draw a card, and I will put this mountain onto the battlefield. What do we need you with the, <laughs> the growth spiral? <laughs> Just trying to get all the lines out of here. Yeah, yeah. All eight of them. I will play my third green beast. I'm going to go to combat. Yep. I will proceed to swing all of my things at you, Caleb. One of those beasts has something signals. That one. The other one, he unstepped. Unstepped. Oh, it was unstepped? Yeah, unstepped. Okay. Involved in wild, yeah. Swinging it all at me. Mm -hmm. That's not very nice. You stripped my last card. I'll take it. Yeah. Cool. All right, and then I will okay. pass the turn. Untap. There's a lot landed. Just did what I do? <laughs> Drop. I'm gonna tap four to cast Leyline of Anticipation. Four, five. Pay five. Receive one of these. Oh, disgusting! Hey, noise. Aren't those banned? What? What banned? If you. Polymorphize those together. They're banned. <laughs> what is this? Yu Smells like Perfix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to tap three, leaving one floating to cast Arcane Signet. We're going to go to combat. Caleb, me. You with Verisol, swing the Gyre Sage at you. That's it. Okay. Uh, they both have trample. No blocks. I'll take four. Seven. All right, and then I'm going to. Great man. Pass. Peter, do you have a. a I do. Uh, I, I yeah. have. I, okay, all right. Yeah. Do it. Heck yeah. Dude, go crazy. How many cards do you have in hand? I have four. Wow. I will untap. <clears throat> I will draw for turn. I will put on my land for turn. <laughs> I will tap one mana and I will cast a sword. So I will add one, two, Three, four, five, six. And I will overload a Mizium orders. Four damage to each creature I don't control. <clears throat> You're kidding me. I'm sorry, man. I gotta deal with those beasties. I lose a life. I'm gonna pull the Trailblazer's boots off the hawk. Okay. No. Sure. I do have a response. Okay. I'm going to tap 12 for Finale of Revelation. X equal to 10. I didn't mean to push you over the edge, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Results? Okay. I draw 10 cards. No maximum hand size. Five. I'll untap six lands. Five lands. 
Alright, Mizium orders resolves. More damage to everything. Joy. I will pay two mana and I will do what I should have done first, casting Narset part of this. Oof. Probably would have done that. I just, I, well, like when I when I cast Mizium orders, I was like, maybe I should have played Narset first, just in case somebody like impulsively draw draws a million cards. And I'm like, who's gonna do that? The Cynic deck. I'm gonna <laughs> <Duh. laughs> And I'll pay two more mana, and I will cast Hopkins here. I should not have pulled out the draw card. I will minus two in our set. In the top four cards of my library, and I reveal a non-creature non life card. Mm -hmm. I will reveal a counter spell. Go ahead, Billy. Okay. I will untap and draw. I'm gonna add two to my mana pool. I'm gonna play Sword of the Animist, and mm -hmm. then I will pay two to equip Sword to the Healer's Hawk. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll also pay two to put a Shadow Spear on it. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat, and I'm gonna swing the Healer's Hawk at Griffin. Yeah. Surprise. How much is it? Five. I'm gonna grab a mountain off the Sword of the Animist. Uh, trigger on the Sword of Feast and Famine. Yeah. I will choose not to discard. Yep. Untap all of my lands, and then I will cast... Well, first of all, I gotta ping myself for one, mm -hmm. and then I'll cast Austere Command. Mm -hmm. I'm going to destroy all creatures with converted mana cost 3 or less, and mana cost 4 or greater. I have a response. Yeah, no! Response. No responses, Pierre! I'm going to respond to that. Oh boy. Plasm capture. Alright, are you freaking serious, dude? Yeah, I'm freaking stupid. Oh my gosh. I think he's You can't do anything? Freaking silly. You can't do anything. <laughs> what? Alright. What? I, Look at these seven. I'm going to add 6 mana at the beginning of my next pre -game. Nice. Yeah, sure. All right, go ahead. I will get four more plus one plus one counters. I'm oh my god. Okay. Oh, I love you, man. Trigger I love you on the Rampage and be lost. Whoa! Hi, Bill. Hey, buddy. Don't do it, please. I don't really want to. <laughs> I think you want to. I think I think it's you don't need to, but you want to. Okay. Um, I want to make a deal with you. Okay. That's a, I can do that. If I swing my Rampage and Bailoffs at you, will you block with my Omnath? Um, no. I will swing everything. At me? No. I just That's wanted to make that. <laughs> see if I can get somewhere. <laughs> that is probably the worst trade deal for me. All right. I we're was a blocker we're and two probably life. going up here. <laughs> okay. um, I will swing at you yeah. with a Rampaging Bailouts and then at you, Peter, with my Scoop Swarm. Scoop Mob. Scoop Mob. Okay. Uh, I, I have to respond. Yeah, dude. Um, I will tap... One for a soul ring. Then I will tap three for wizard cycling the Dolphin Aether Mage. I'm gonna switch my library for the card. A wizard. Reveal it. I reveal Steel Seagate Storm Collar, it goes into my hand. And then I'm going to block the skew mob with Dursal. Cool. You couldn't have just one for me. So I can get it back with a land? He doesn't have... No. <laughs> no. And then I will pass. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. It. Okay. It's all good, man. I appreciate you not killing me. Hey, you know what? It's really nice. Of course. Despite the fact that I tried to blow up your whole game. Untap and draw. Um, oh, I do need to play a land. Um, I will play an island. You don't need to, but sure. And then I will... Pass. I'm going to use the six mana that Plasm Capture gave me. It is six mana, right? Mm -hmm. Si, sí, senor. I'm going to cast Skyclay Relic, okay. kicking it. Mm -hmm. um, so I create two tapped tokens. I will pass. Okay. I'll draw for soon. Um, I'm going to start by ticking down Narset, and I'll look at the top four cards in my library. Uh, Volcanic Vision. Uh, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Volcanic Vision deals damage equal by card CMC to each creature your opponent controls. <laughs> so I will make my next spell cost two less to cast. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will attempt to cast Volcanic Vision. I will uh, target the Blatant Thievery. Uh huh. In my graveyard. Uh huh. Uh, Blade and Thievery will deal 7 damage to each creature that I don't control. I will tap Gyre Sage to flow 3 mana. I will cast a turn. Um, in response to your answer, because yeah. I have some mana to spend, um, I will 
use two of it to cast Elfame Druid. Sure. Um, and I can probably... You couldn't have done that before my Volcanic Vision, so I died. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good Come idea. Come on. Ah, yeah, no, man. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm done. I will untap, and I'll go to untap all my creatures. I think I'm going to have to play Mirren Crusader. Sick. I will pay two to put Sword of Feast and Famine on Mirren Crusader. I'm going to add two mana to my pool and put the Shadow Spear on Mirren Crusader. And that was a really crappy turn. Go for it. <laughs> Untap, trigger on the Scoot Swarm. It is now in 21 21. I'll draw for turn. Oh, baby. Fling it at me. Oh, no. I'll go to combat. Swinging tide. Choo choo, Peter. Scoot Swarm. Choo -choo. Scoot -choo. Declare it Elf Hang Druid. That sounds perfectly reasonable. A noble sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> it will die. <laughs> Thoroughly. And then uh, I will go ahead and pass the turn. I'm going to tap six. Seven, eight. You better not draw cards. I'm not gonna. Myriad Construct. It's going to cry. Uh, it's kicked, so it's going to enter with a plus one, plus one counter for each non-basic land my opponent's control. I'm gonna do this anyway, so I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna pay one into Sunday Canyon and tap it and sacrifice it to draw a card. Okay. Okay. So he enters with 11 plus one, plus one counters. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap eight to cast my commander. Fair so. <clears throat> yes. So no other actions I'm going to untap. Cool. Yep. <clears throat> I will draw a card. I'm going to go to combat. Sure. I'm going to swing Verisol and Myriad Construct at Narset. That's fine. Uh, she's super dead. Okay. <laughs> 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 I mean, she's not here. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, second main phase. I'm going to play an island. It's my land for turn. I'm going to go to my concern. <laughs> okay. I will untap. I will draw for turn. Okay. I will tap my Kaza. I'll tap my Slurring, so that's four. <laughs> okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I will cast Ignite the Future for my graveyard. hi -yo. I will exile the top three cards in my library. Uno, dos, I can cast them without playing the mana cost. I'll play on an island. Who's my land for turn? Trigger on my life. Pass from my main phase into my combat phase. At the beginning of your second main phase, I will go ahead and tap Ghost Quarter, sacrifice it to destroy your basic island that's tapped so you can search your library for a new land. I will cast my Goblin Electromancer. For free. I will then use the four mana generated by Omnath to cast Nevin Neryl's Disc. And then. I am going to attempt to reality shift. There's all. Okay. All right. You force my hand. I'm going to <laughs> tap seven to cast and kick Sphinx of Lost Truths. What does that do? Um, so f first, I'm going to well, copy it. Yeah. Um, I draw when it enters the battlefield. I draw three cards. If I don't kick it, I discard three cards. Okay. Oh so gosh. I get a second version of that, <laughs> and I draw six cards because it's kicked. So sure. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so Verisol will be exiled back to the command zone. Yep. Yep, manifest the top card of your library. Two, two. Sweet. And uh, I have no further effects, and I will pass the turn. Okay. I will untap and draw the turn. Play down the planes. Pay one. For Cigar to Zade. That's not so Voyager. I'm going to equip the Sword of the Animus to Mirren Crusader. Uh, why not? Let's pay three for Sunforger. This comes into play you? equipped to Mirren Crusader. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to swing Mirren Crusader here. Uh, so when he swings, I get to search my deck for a land. I'm going to block with the two senses. Both of them? Yep. Okay. For three fives. <laughs> So he is currently a 10 6. Yeah. So 10 damage is going to get through. Yeah, because of double strike. Yep. And the rest of it is first strike damage to kill them before they deal damage to him. Yes. Okay. Yep. Deal the damage. Okay. 
So while the trigger is on the stack from the swords, I'm going to unequip Sunforger. I'm going to gonna target wear and tear, casting wear, mm -hmm. targeting the disc. Um, that's fine. Okay. All right. Now my lands will untap. Uh, second main. I've got to put this crazy freaking thing on. Right down. Here you go. Untap. Upkeep. 25, 25. Drop a turn. So go to combat. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I'll, two, two. I'll swing at you for 25, Mr. Peter. Okay, I will block with my mat. That's I, I figured. Uh, and then I have no other effects. And in response to your end stuff, I will pay three to cast 20 staff. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cast Grim Soul. Untap. I will play an island. Tap six to cast field research, kicked and copied. So what does that do? So I, since I have a 20 staff, I will copy it twice. Uh, I draw three cards. Okay. So that's a lot of draw. Tap five to cast a kicked Jace Mirror Mage. Because I, so I, I I copied this spell the, so it ends three spell. times, and then they each make three, and then the two extra die because they're legendary. Yeah. So I have three of these. First scry one, I mean scry two with him. Bought them both. I will do it again with him, and then I will do it again. Living the dream, dude. So Did you forget to activate one? Just the top one. I'm going to scry two again. I think I'm just going to pass. Okay. I will untap. <sighs> Draw. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't of perfection. I will tap Kaza to make my next spell cost one, two, three, four less. Five, six, seven, eight. I will cast Blade Thievery. It will flip over to the final iteration and give me a wizard token. Which I will use this to represent. So now put them in front of you. And then all my wizards are gonna get plus two, plus one, and half one. Can I take an island? Or not an island, a plains? Yes. Okay. I'm targeting your ley line of anticipation, and I'm targeting your island. Uh, I do have a response though. Okay. Response. Four. To cast Blink of an Eye, uh, kicked and copied. Okay. So I'm going to return three things, and draw three cards. Um, I'm going to target Leyline of Anticipation, uh, the Construct, and Vital Iteration. Uh, he's going to die, I will get 15 of these. I'm going to cast Dual Caster Mage, targeting my Blatant Thievery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take another island, I'm going to take a mountain, I have a plan, I'm going to target the Leyline of Anticipation. So that Blatant Thievery will resolve. So I take your island, I take your Leyline of Anticipation, and I take your Tap Mountain. No, okay. the mountain's not tapped. The mountain's not tapped. Okay. Uh, Holding priority, yeah. But, uh, on... Dual Caster Mage is resolved. Yeah, Dual Caster Mage is resolved, but before the Blink of an Eye triggers, that's targeting your Leyline of Anticipation, yes. I will cast Counterspell. Targeting that one. Okay. Resolves okay, trigger my, my final iteration. I'll get another wizard. Yeah. Lands. I will draw two cards. That one's tapped. Also, we have the same sleeves, so... Pass the turn. I'm gonna untap and draw the return. Okay. okay. I'm gonna pay seven uh -huh, to use cast the Kiri. Okay. I'm gonna go to combat and I'm gonna swing the Iron Crusader at you, Peter. I'm sorry. That's okay. what you get for playing Simic. <laughs> um, Smic. Let's see. So, trigger goes on the stack, I get to go search for a land. And draw a card into that Kiri. And draw a card into the Kiri. So, I'm gonna draw first, then search for a land. Yeah, I'm going to block you with um, 15 constructs. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to pay one to remove. I'm going to remove Sword of the Animist from Naren Crusader. Okay, and he gains the destructible. What color are they? Gains indestructible until end of turn. Colorless. Okay. Cool. Um, so th three will trample. Three will trample over. So I take three. Yeah. 
Feast of Famine triggers. Yep, so you'll discard a card. Yep, and I will discard another board. Surprise. Yes. <laughs> Can you get rid of the Verisol? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pay one for an Infiltration Lens, and it comes into play equipped to a carry. Oh, nice. And I will pass to you. Untap. Upkeep. Trigger. <laughs> Swole. One scooty bowl. Draw. 29, 29. I will go to combat. Alright, go ahead. I will declare attacks at when? Peter. Oh, at Chase. me? At Chase. Oh. at Chase. I'm going to tap two blue. Okay. To cast Psychonic Rift. Bouncing yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. I I really wanted to. <laughs> no remorse. He's fine. He's straight back. Sure, go ahead. You better get a better exterminator, man. Your scoop mob problem came right back. <laughs> Plus one, Jace. Scry two. I'm gonna do it again. Still, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm playing an island for turn. This is great. Um, I'm going to tap three for Mirror Maid, <laughs> targeting my ley line. It's my main. Um, uh... I'm gonna pass. Okay, <clears throat> I will untap. I will draw. That is probably the best card I need maybe for the draw. One, two, three, four, yeah. I will cast my Docent of Perfection. Very nice. Oh, faster. Okay. Response to your answer. Yeah, please. I'm going to pay one for a Mr. Fomora. Okay, I will untap. Okay. Uh, I'll drop a turn. Play Goblin Engineer. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, I search my library for an artifact. Put it in your and graveyard. put it into my graveyard. Sword. Uh, let's pay four. We're ready. Hey. Are you going to pay for it to uh, make me not draw a card? Heck no. Thank you. He's going to go to one. I'm going to sacrifice Trailblazer's boots. And Sword of Fire and Ice is going to be my target from my graveyard. When it enters the battlefield, it's automatically going to equip to Akiri, mm -hmm. thanks to Sigarda's aid. Before I go to combat, I'm going to pay two for Lightning Greaves. Any response? Oh, I will pay two. this way. I will cast you Roiling Regrowth. Sacrificing this uh, this year planes. This will also trigger Mystic Remora. This will also trigger Mystic Remora, which I will pay for. Uh, pay for. No way! I've been playing magic. I've been playing magic for <laughs> a long time. I've, I've never seen anyone. I have <laughs> never <laughs> seen anybody pay for Mystic Remora. <laughs> Document um, this. Uh, we should just end the game and let Griffin win. That this is why I became a content creator. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that resolves my Mystic. My other Mr. Kramara trigger will the good one. resolve and I will draw. Yeah, and Lightning Greaves is going to come in attached to your Crusader. Okay. I'll go to combat. Okay. In response. Okay. I'm going to tap six to cast Tazim Royal Mage. Returning to Cyclonic Rift to your hand. I'm going to. Copy it, so I have three of them. Um, I get three cards back. Cyclonic Rift, Blink of an Eye, and Flow Research. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to overload Cyclonic Rift. You don't have to. Yeah. Wait until I swing. Yes! Yeah. Just... <laughs> I like it all out there. I'm gonna do it. That is good. Okay. Overload Cyclonic Rift. I have a response. No, we have a long time. Uh huh. For three mana, with the reduction for my Sapphire Medallion, I will cast Commit, targeting Cyclonic Rift, putting it third from the top on your library. Okay, third from the top. Yep. Uh, trigger my Dozen to Perfection, I will make another wizard, and it will flip. Uh, Mystic Remora. You can draw. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, Peter. <laughs> I'm swinging at you. Okay, okay. I'm going to pay five 
to cast and kick inscription of a prince and copy it. Okay. So I put That's two fine. plus one plus one counters on target creature. I gain X life or X is the greatest amount of power among creatures I control and then target creature I control fights target creature I don't control and I choose any number of them. I'm not going to choose the fighting one. Um, Yay! No fighty whitey. Yeah, and all of my Tazim royal mages are going to get two plus one plus one counters. I'm still going to take nine plus six. Six. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. I'm going down to sixteen. I'll gain eighteen. Okay, so the triggers on the stack are going to be um, the swords. So yeah, you'll have to discard a card, and then Sword of Fire and Ice uh, is going to deal two damage to a player, and I get to draw a card. Sorry, damage. creature, creature or player. My creature bad. Player. Um, I don't have any creatures. Griffin, this cute mob's gonna get yes. two damage. No. Oh, sorry. Oh my. Wait, why did I screw up? I'm gonna cast <laughs> Waves of Aggression. So I untap all creatures that attack this turn, and then after this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. I'm gonna cast Thanks Blood you. Forge Battle Eyes. <laughs> and we're gonna put it on Mirror Crusader. You're at 16? Okay. I'm gonna go to combat again. Yeah, and I'm else? going to swing Akiri at Griffin and Mirror Crusader at Peter. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Ow. We'll how much six? How much do you gain? So, first I get to search for a land. Before I lose the ley line of anticipation, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tap. Uh, I'm gonna cast the memory half from my graveyard. So it's gonna be reduced from this, this. So it's going to cost um, four mana. So, um, in response, I'm going to tap the battlefield forge. I have to deal one to myself for it, and I'm gonna add a red and white. Unattached Sunforger. Sure. With the Sunforger trigger, I'm going to target the Lapse of Certainty in my deck. Cast it targeting memory. Is this going to go back on top of my library? Yeah. Uh, yes, on the very top. So, go to damage? Yep. Yeah. 14. 6. <coughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You're out of mana. I am out of mana. Okay. Uh, triggers are going to be, I draw a card from the swords, I'm going to deal two damage to Peter. your <laughs> Peter. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm going to deal two damage to Peter from the sword. Yeah, <laughs> good idea. I'm going to cast <laughs> Sun Titan. Mm. I'm going to bring back Aiden Mind Sensor from my graveyard. Mm. I will then discard a planes to cast Waves of Aggression from my graveyard. Mm. Please guys untap. Uh -huh. I'm going to move the Lightning Greaves to Sun Titan. Okay, so I'm gonna set, I'm gonna go to combat, send Akiri at Landon and then Mirror Crusader and my Titan <clears throat> at Griffin. Yeah, what, I'm a threat. What power is uh, Akiri? She is three, four, five, six. She has trample. Nope. Unblock. She's pro, pro, red, and blue. Yeah. She's pro, red, and blue. Oh, that is. I can block with my final iteration. Yes, you can. It, what? It, she's what? She's a six, six. Block with my final iteration. Okay. Uh, I will take how much? Sorry. In response to the blocks, I'm going to pay one, and remove infiltration lens from a carry to give her indestructible until end of turn. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Double strike. Oh yeah, sorry. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's just swing off the card. So then my lands are going to untap. I will discard a planes, cast waves of aggression, untap all my guys, I get another combat step. I'm going to I'm going to pay one to equip the infiltration lens to Sun Titan. I also and I'm going to add three to my pool. Yes, to equip Sun Forger to Akiri. Okay, go to the next combat. I'm going to swing Mirror Crusader and Akiri at Landon and the Sun Forger. Sorry, the Sun Titan at. Yep, no blocks, GG. Okay, give me that. 
Thank you so much for watching this gameplay video. We hope you enjoyed us. Don't forget to leave us a comment on how much you enjoyed it or what you think we can improve or what you didn't like about it. And we'll be sure to look through those and find the best ways to deliver our content to you for you to enjoy. If you want to support the channel directly, head on over to patreon.com slash command valley and sign up today. We have exclusive content. We have discord merch. We play games with our patrons. We are taking suggestions for videos and all sorts of things that you can find on our Patreon. Just go check it out. Thank you, as always, to GameGrid for sponsoring this video and our channel. You can go through the affiliate link in the description to help the channel directly. They ship nationwide. You can get your card singles from there. From what I've heard from everyone that's gone through there, the singles come super fast. So it's that simple to go and order through their site. We have live streams every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Join us for some brawl and arena. We have a lot of fun there. Check out our social media at Command Valley P1 on Twitter or like us on Facebook. Link below to that. Make sure you watch out for all of our future content. We're hoping to make a lot more of these kinds of gameplay videos in the future. Thank you for watching. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and stay safe out there.